Hello, A standard CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. I hope you have <coughs> enjoyed yesterday's session. Yesterday we have started new academic year with video number one. Today we are continuing the lesson chapter one, crop production and management as part two. Okay. We have done crop production and management as what is crop, then what are the types of crops. These two we have learned yesterday. Right? Today we are going to learn the agricultural activities, otherwise steps involved in the production of crop. Okay. And yesterday we have learned it as first step preparation of soil, second one sowing the seeds, third one hmm, man supplying or applying manure and fertilizers, fourth one irrigation, fifth one protecting from weeds and uh, sixth one harvesting and seventh step last step is the storage of the grains that we have harvested. So these are the steps involved in the production of crops. Okay. Today we are going to do the preparation of soil and sowing of the seeds. And in today's uh, video session, I am going to, we are going to learn about these two steps and then what are manure and fertilizers. And last part of the session of this video, as usual like yesterday, I am going to support this video with the picture. So that is as PPT Chanolia PowerPoint presentation. With that, just for a understanding the lesson with the pictures. And then lastly, we have to discuss the assignment that we have received yesterday. That assignment discussion we have given in the last part of the session. So please have patience and have show interest and learn with full concentration and confidence. Okay. So now we will continue chapter 1 crop production and management part 2. This is video number 2. Okay. Now this is first agricultural practices that we are doing it as preparation of soil. What does it mean preparation of soil? Now I am giving you a handful of brinjal seeds and ladies finger seeds and for another group I am going to give you tomato seeds and chili seeds. I am asking you to have a small piece of area in our school campus and I am asking you to prepare the soil for this plants to grow. What are we doing? First, we will go around the campus and then we will look for the convenient place, suitable place for these seeds to be sown. Yeah. And then, after, suppose we have selected and our classrooms to pin out in the air at least, or where you go for a cricket ground. As you get on the way, when you are selecting a piece of land, there we are looking for the soil, the condition of the soil. Okay. Now, naturally, in large area, acres of land, as I said, in our school campus, after railway track, I said I showed you, I told you, we have some paddy field, is it not? So, in that acres of land, when we have started cultivating or when we grow these crops, that soil to be prepared, it should be ready for sowing the seeds. Normally all these soil, they are having a big crump, crump in a cutty, very very cutty, a big crump will be there and it has to be broken into small pieces, that is preparation of soil. So this preparation of soil again, it is as nothing but turning and loosening the soil. If the soil is dry, we have to water the land. Then when it becomes wet, it is easy for us to 
turning and loosening the soil. Chariya. So now in the as a result of turning and loosening the soil, this preparation helps the plant, <coughs> especially help the root penetrate deep into the soil. So turning and loosening of the soil helps the help the root to penetrate deep into the soil. And it is also helping the roots to breathe easily. As the aeration is easy, if the roots can breathe easily. Right? And then it helps in the growth of earthworm and microbes. As we know, earthworms are the friend of the farmer chalonia. So the soil contains earthworm and other useful activities, useful microbes. So, yeah. so and then it adds humus to the soil. So what are the uses of turning and loosening the soil? First we say turning and loosening of the soil help the roots to, pen to penetrate deep into the soil. It helps the root breathe easily and it helps a growth of earthworm and microbes and it adds humus to the soil. And as a result of this uh, turning and loosening, the soil rich nutrients which contain, which are helpful with the help of air, water and minerals, living organism, it makes the soil less rich in nutrients. And then dead plants and animal remains get decomposed by the soil microbes. We say microbes are present in the soil, is it not? So now this dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil microbes. Okay? And these nutrients are absorbed by the plants. And as it is found just under very few layers of the soil, it forms the top layer of the soil. As a seventh standard we have studied earlier, yeah? layers of soil, soil profile as A horizon, B horizon and C horizon, finally bedrock. Yeah? So in that top soil we find all these. So it has humus to the soil. I hope you understand this. Yeah? So what are all? First, preparation of soil. Usefulness we are learning. In book, you can write off your own sentences. So, what is it? Turning and loosening. Roots penetrate deep into the soil. Roots breathe easily due to good aeration. And it helps in growth of earthworm and microbes. And it adds humus to the soil. And as a result of these turning and loosening, the soil is rich in nutrients. In what way? This air, water, minerals and living microbes in the soil and dead plants and animal remain get decomposed by the soil microbes and these nutrients they are absorbed by the and these are forming the top layer of the soil. So this is preparation of soil we are saying. Okay. The next one, it is ploughing, preparation of soil, it is as ploughing or it is called tilling. Ploughing or tilling. The process is called ploughing or tilling. In the children, the ploughing or tilling, the air would have been children. That is the ploughing. That is making the soil loosened. That is called ploughing. Right? Now the agricultural, the tools, it will tools used for this ploughing. It is called plough, hoe and cultivated the agricultural implement used for ploughing is 
plow the air gula the shakra that is plow ho hona manmetting uh, ho and cultivate cultivator na normally it is having a iron plank with the iron rod like this and then it is driven by the tractor so we say cultivator driven by a tractor chariya now this plow and <coughs> hoe it is manually done but as cultivator it is done by the tractor so tractor driven cultivator it saves labor and whereas plow and hoe with the help of physically a person is doing it takes hard shift otherwise we say the person has to work hard okay so the tools used for plowing what are the three plow hoe and cultivator cultivator we say it is driven by the tractor okay so the plowing it is also called tilling okay now this plow it is having a long rod like this and then this this somewhat v shape like this and then a long rod okay so this is called plow shaft and this is known as plow shaft and this portion will be kept on the bullock neck this here plow it is driven by the it is sorry it is taken by the bulls yeah so that is uh, uh, one minute here this one i hope you can see this huh? a man with the two bulls this is a plow i hope you understand so here this is called a plow shaft and this long rod it is known as plow shaft in the next continuation of the video la ppt la the diagram irukke with that i'll explain still further okay so now we say the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or plowing and this is done by using a plow plow na enadhu this is used since ancient times for tilling the soil adding fertilizers to the crops removing the weeds scraping the soil the year ulladhu solvala this is even done today the number railway track it like a paddy field solvala anga innikku inda method da follow pandra seriya so the implement is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls or horse or camel can also be used but in our tamil nadu we are using only the bulls it contains strong iron triangular strip called plow shaft this portion it is called plow shaft okay the main part of the plow is a long log of wood that is known as plow shaft and there is a handle at the end of the shaft the other end is attached to the beam which is placed on the bull's neck so again i show you the diagram it is a plow i hope you understand this hmm? so here now this plows are made of wood or iron already i said if the soil is very dry it may need watering before plowing and the plowed field may have big pieces of soil that is called crumbs and that has to be made into small pieces and then the uh, land should be leveled for sowing the seed and irrigation chariya the next one it is called hoe hona manvetti hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing the weed nam school thodathula kuda the ground la pulla la vetralle inda oru implement ache tool ache adha na manvetti chariya hoe it has a strong long row row rod of wood or iron and then a broad bent plate is fixed on this set the diagram par in a hoe panvetti chariya 
So now it is pulled by animal. So now we are going to wet it. Okay. Then third one is cultivated. Nowadays plowing is done by tractor driven cultivator. And this cultivation, cultivator, it saves time and labor. I hope you are able to follow this. So plowing, it is also known as tilling and it makes the soil turning and loosening and in turn making the soil rich in nutrients. The agricultural implements are plow, hoe and cultivator. I hope you understand this. Huh? So this is the preparation of soil and second step it is water. Second step is sowing. Second step of agricultural practice, it is sowing. Sowing another whether it can. Okay. Sowing the seeds. Sowing the seeds. What does it mean? Suppose we have to select the seeds. You cannot just uh, sow the seed. We have to select the healthy seeds. For that, that is an activity given in our textbook. You take a beaker with the water. Take a beaker with the water. Hmm? And then you take the handful of seeds that is given to you for sowing. And that seeds you place it like this. Just like the seeds. This is seed. Okay. So now in the seeds, as now I say this is bigger, this is water, and then this is seed. Okay. So now in this, when the seeds are healthy, that will sink at the bottom of the beaker. When the seeds are damaged, that will float on the beaker, water surface. Okay. So I say the activity to select the healthy seed, what are we to do? You take a beaker with water, then add handful of seeds that are to be sown in the soil. If the seeds are healthy, that will sink at the bottom of the beaker. Whereas damaged seeds will float on the surface of the water. At home, when we are soaking the dal and rice for idli or dosa check when we pour water, when it is soaked, the damaged one will float on the water surface and the good ones will settle at the bottom of the vessel. Okay. So this is an experiment to select a healthy seed. Okay. And after selecting the seed, there are two methods of sowing the seed. <coughs> One is one is manual <coughs> manual method of sowing the seed that is okay first scattering scattering the seed another one using a funnel <coughs> scattering na every just two wheel that is seed two or the scattering using a funnel and then the what is it plow pathula and the mari or plow you just attach a big funnel the seed scattering ke funnel is available in the market that attach a funnel and then add these seeds into the funnel. <coughs> See the diagram here and the and following the last part of the session here comes. Okay. 
ஒரு பனல் தெரியுது இந்த ரெண்டு மனுஷனும் இந்த பனல் குடிச்சுட்டு இதுக்குள்ள விதையை போட்டு இட் ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரை துல்ஸ் தென் இந்த பனல்லேருந்து அப்படியே யூனிஃபார்மாக த சீட்ஸ் வில் பி ஸ்கேட்டர்டு ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வேற மேனுவலில் ஸ்கேட்டரிங்னா நீ அப்படியே தூவிடுவை வேற பனல் டேப்னா இட் வில் கோ யூனிஃபார்ம்லி வித் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் சரியா வேற சீடல் திஸ் இஸ் கால் சீடல் இதில் இந்த பிளான்டில் you just arrange the seeds at the place of one you just arrange the seed and then pull the seed till it will uniformly sow the seed with equal distances with proper distances that is using the seed till so yeah in that manual scattering when you sow the seed there are some advantages and disadvantages advantages all the healthy seed may germinate whereas disadvantage as this scattering is not uniform there may be overcrowding of the germination of the seeds and that will be disturbing the germinating seeds for competitive as food and shelter whereas panel type and seed drill there is no overcrowding of the seeds i hope you understand this hmm? so sowing is the most important part of crop production before sowing good quality seeds are selected and clean and healthy seeds of good variety should be selected <coughs> so what is the experiment given take a beaker fill half of it with water Mm, the experiment put handful of wheat seeds and stir well wait for some time what will happen the seeds lighter or heavier than those which one will sink the <coughs> damaged seeds become hollow and light in weight that will float on the surface of the water so this is a good method of separating good healthy seeds from the damaged soil sorry yeah. and then traditional tool the tool used traditionally for sowing the seed is shaped like a funnel and the seeds are filled into the funnel passed down through the two or three pipes having sharp end having sharp end and the end pierces the soil and place the seeds there so this is traditional tool method whereas seed drill nowadays the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors this tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and equal depth and it ensures the seeds get covered by the soil after sowing and this prevents damage caused by the birds and also seed drill saves time and labor and appropriate distance between the seeds is important to avoid overcrowding of the plants this allows the plant to get sufficient sunlight nutrients and water from the soil <coughs> sometimes few plants have to be removed to avoid overcrowding so this is sowing the seeds okay so we have done two steps preparation of soil and then sowing the seeds we'll just continue so this uh, second step is the sowing the seed and third step it is supplying or adding manure and fertilizers manure and fertilizers manure singular plural rendume manure da manures kareyala same fertilizer vende they are fertilizers so when we plow the field the turning and loosening of the soil we have done and then we have sown the seeds also then we have to add manure or fertilizers 
for the growth of the plant. Okay? And then comes the irrigation. So, what is it? And a manure and fertilizer. The substance which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of the plants are called manure and fertilizers. What will you say? What are manure and fertilizer? Page 5. We have a PDF on page 5. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of the plants are called manure and fertilizers. So I repeat, the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. Okay. So at the same time, soil supplies mineral nutrients to the crop. And these nutrients, they are essential for the growth of the crop plants. And in certain areas, farmers grow crop after crop in the same field. And the field is never left undisturbed. There, yeah. sorry. The seed is never left uncultivated. Suppose you are growing a paddy in a given piece of land which we have. Are they in two, three years are they put in line without adding much of uh, manure and uh, our fertilizer, na, the soil will become unfertile to some extent. With all the nutrients, they are utilized by the paddy crops which are already done for this two, three years. Is it not? So, we may have to follow two things. Either the soil should be enriched with soil nutrients. For that, we have to add manure and fertilizer. And second thing, we may have to change the crop pattern. Suppose first one year for two seasons, if you are doing paddy rice nakar, at the season we have to grow for another crop, we have to go for another crop, say for example, groundnut plantation can be done. Where can we go? That is the final one. We have to change the crop, we have to rotate the crop. Otherwise, there are other patterns, intercropping. Intercropping, we have to go to the party, so we have to go to the party, suppose rice, cotton, wheat, so that is intercropping. Different we have to do it. So to add manure or fertilizer, this manure it is naturally made, naturally formed. For example, in the place where we have this dead remains of plants and animals or dry leaf or any humus to the soil that forms the natural manure. Whereas the fertilizers, they can be prepared in the manufactured in the factory or industry. Example, we have a spick in our industry. In the spick industry, they made urea as fertilizer. We call that the monitor. So they made urea as a fertilizer. So on the Mahri, urea fertilizer can be made. So there are different fertilizers as a nitrogen, phosphatic and potassium fertilizers. Fertilizers are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium fertilizers. So here manure, manure it is naturally made but it is slow in action but permanent cure. Whereas fertilizers, they are quick in action but it is not permanent. And then manure cannot be washed away by water when it is watered or during rainy season. Whereas fertilizers can be easily washed away. Now we say soil rich nutrients. So now these plants, they require so water and minerals 
and those minerals they are as micronutrients and macronutrients nutrients which are required in large quantity they are called macronutrients and nutrients which are which are required in small quantity they are called micronutrients okay and in this fertilizer they are nutrient specific suppose potassium content venum for the plant na that content uh, fertilizer with the potassium content <coughs> can be supplied to the plant whereas manual only we cannot do so i hope you understand huh? so that is the difference between manual and fertilizer and then the next is the solution here yeah? the following this uh, ppt session la uh, i have discussed about this uh, difference between manure and fertilizers that we will go through that seriously so, yeah. so, as we know it is as <coughs> manure and fertilizers la uh, soil supplies mineral nutrients adha ikka par paathonde adha continuous growing na the nutrients may be utilized fully so it has to be resupplied so manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal waste i repeat manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal waste and farmers dump plant and animal waste in pits at open places and allow it to decompose nam and thotla la periya thotla parana overma and chaani the vacuole kambu and then the kuppa ella konde chipala adha da natural manure right the decomposed matter is used as organic manure i hope you understand this huh? so and then about the fertilizers so now here the difference between fertilizer and manual i already discussed at the end of the video session fertilizer is a inorganic salt whereas manual is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung human waste and plant residues and a fertilizer is prepared in the factories whereas manual can be prepared in the field and fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil manure provides lot of humus to the soil and fertilizers are rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium whereas manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients i hope you understand this hmm? so what are the advantages of manure that is given in our field in our textbook page 7 advantages of manure the organic manure is considered better than fertilizers organic manure is considered as <coughs> better than fertilizer because it enhances water holding capacity of the soil it enhances water holding capacity of the soil it makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases become easy it is making the soil porous due to which exchange of gases is easy exchange of gases is it is for respiration and photosynthesis i hope you remember hmm? and then it increases the number of friendly microbes and it improves the soil texture so what are the advantages of soil uh, manual we can say first one it enhances manual and manual it increases water holding capacity it increases water holding capacity <coughs> and then second one first one it increases water holding capacity it makes the soil porous it makes the soil porous for exchange of gases 
it makes the soil porous for exchange of gases okay and third one it increases number of for the friendly micro it increases the number of friendly microbes increases the number of friendly microbes and it improves the soil texture it improves the soil texture i hope you understand huh? so many manual advantages of manual away para purchu as water holding capacity hmm soil become becomes porous that helps in exchange of gases and it improves it is a it improves the soil texture and the presence of friendly microbe it increases the presence of friendly microbes so these are the advantages of manure i hope you follow this huh? so what are all you say preparation of soil in what way it is helpful in the to the root and when the root penetrates deep into the soil and then it is good aeration and then for easy supply of nutrients so the soil enriching chalro apra three agricultural tool as plow hoe and cultivator same way sowing the seed and the manual sowing scattering and funnel type seed drill and it is tractor driven so and for this two third manual and fertilizer where we have as manual these are the advantages okay so fertilizer detail we'll do in the next video session and now we'll continue this uh, video session with the ppt that you please go through it supports picture presentation and end of the video session we are discussing yesterday's assignment so that you please follow it okay so we'll continue thank you hello cbc children a standard this is continuation of our uh, video session video number 2 as i said we have discussed certain topic certain uh, steps that is in crop production and management so this is our continuation of our lesson video number 2 chapter 1 crop production and management part 2 and we have been learning as agricultural practices as uh, two steps we have learned so far i have discussed so far what are the preparation of soil and sowing and what are manure and fertilizers we have just dealing all those uh, three steps concerned with the agricultural practices what are we doing regarding this uh, first step preparation of soil what you have learned so far it is preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop clear yeah. next one it is the most important task in the agriculture as it has to turning and loosening the soil when we are growing a plant suppose you are asked to so some uh, brinjal and uh, chili seeds malaha vattal chulula and the seed kathirika venai on our garden la podichuna first we are looking for a garden place in a garden and then we would like to check the soil nature of the soil is it not and if the soil is dry we are watering the uh, soil is it and we are making wet of the soil so that condition and then we are using a you know sollra the agricultural tool called hoe with that manvetti chunule adala we are turning and loosening the soil so the first step is to turn the soil and loosen it and as a uh, result of this turning and loosening the soil 
it allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil and it is also allowing the roots to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil so there are two important uh, events that help the plant uh, in turning and loosening the soil what are all first one it helps the plants turning and loosening the soil helps the plant to penetrate help the roots to penetrate deep into the soil and it also allows the roots to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil i hope you understand this huh? this loosen the soil it also helps in growth of earthworm which is considered as friend of the farmer and also the microbes present in the soil Okay. And these organisms, microbes and uh, earthworm, they are friend of the farmer. And since they further turn and loosen the soil and add humus to the soil. Okay. Then what we are learning so far, soil as a result of loosening and turning the soil, the soil rich nutrients, they are getting enriched. Now, what are the contents of the soil? We know soil contains mineral, water, air and some living organisms. And along with that, addition, otherwise, addition of dead plant, remains of dead plants and animal, it is also getting decomposed and adding as a humus to the soil. So as a result, various nutrients held in dead organisms are released back into the soil and these nutrients are taken back by the plants again. This is how turning and loosening the soil helps the plant. Now since only few centimeters of the top layer of the soil supports plant growth, turning and loosening of soil brings the nutrient rich in soil to the top so that plant can use these nutrients As a, so far we have learnt in the uh, first for the preparation of the soil okay now this as you said agricultural practices preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizer irrigation protecting from weed Harvesting and storage. Here are first three steps we are discussing. I hope you understand this. The huh? next one, these are the agricultural tools meant for ploughing. Ploughing, na, loosening and turning and loosening the soil. For that, we are using three tools. One is called plough. This is plough. Another one, hoe. Manveti chalolya that hoe and third one it is called cultivator and it is driven by a tractor tractor we have already seen the man is driving driving yeah and the indoor the kutte kambi that is cultivator so what are the three agricultural tools meant for plowing or tilling plowing is also known as tilling okay so the plowing or tilling the agricultural tools used are Plow, hoe and cultivator which is driven by a tractor. I hope you are able to follow this. Yeah. So now the process of, now the plow par, the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or plowing. And this is done by using a plow. Plow na the air ruler the chulwale. If the soil is very dry, it may need watering before plowing. And the plowed field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs. So it has to be made into small pieces. And that is also done by this plow, hoe or cultivator. So it is necessary to break these crumbs with the plank. Plank na the wood the, 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 
the field is level for sowing as well as for irrigation purposes irrigation is watering the plant and the leveling of soil is done with the help of a leveler i hope you understand huh? then sometimes manure is added to the soil before tilling and it helps in proper mixing of manure with the soil and the soil is watered before sowing i hope you are clear huh? so now <coughs> the agricultural implements as i said before sowing the seed it is necessary to break the soil into size of grains to get better yield and this is done with the help of three main tools plow hoe and a cultivator driven by a tractor now in our textbook the description about the plow is given in page number 3 what is it the plow is being used in the ancient time munadila and the plow vachida and the air vachida ulagundrupa nam and the air ulagada kuda nam school as i said la nam school railway track and the pakla paddy field la adla vande we have seen this uh, plowing the field so <coughs> this implement is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals normally horses or camels but nam area la la we use only bulls and it contains a strong triangular iron strip called plow share that like the the v mari irukku somewhat v shape that is called plow share i hope you understand this v shape structure it is called plow share and the main part of the plow is a long log of wood called plow shaft idu peru plow shaft seriya then the other end is attached to a beam which is placed on bulls of the neck and the idu vandu prikayathil maatu valle and the rendu idey that is the bull neck la vepa hmm? so the plow can be easily driven so the indigenous wooden type of plow is increasingly being replaced by iron plow nowadays actually idella wooden ide but naalukku naal adu thanni pattu pattu uluthu porudhu solluvala and the katta illa chala chala na illa so instead nowadays they are using iron plow i hope you understand hmm? then hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil what is it hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil and it has a long rod of wood or iron a strong rod and bent plate of iron is fixed to one end of its end edo kle no bent plate irpa na manvetti solvale adha bent plate seriya so now what is hoe we are learning hoe is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil it has a long rod of wood or iron a strong rod and bent plate of iron is fixed at one of its end and then it it works like a blade and it is pulled by animal or even namma kuda adu manvetti kottru sare and then cultivator nowadays ploughing is done by tractor driven cultivator the use of cultivator saves time and labor what does it mean it saves time and labor na namu vandu air uladana namu maata verati verati namulu we have to physically exert same way who using a hoe manvetti when we are doing it when we are making the the uh, big soil crump into smaller pieces we are physically exerting our energy whereas cultivator nak it is driven by a tractor and it can be easily moved into the acres of paddy field so it is it is saving the time and also <coughs> labor is also saved so this is for plowing or tilling where we are using 
three main agricultural tools they are plow hoe and cultivator i hope you are able to follow this uh, so we'll just continue so now we'll continue so now this uh, sowing of seeds it is uh, done first we have to select the healthy seeds i channel the beaker eduthe adu pananum that is uh, selecting a healthy seed okay and then there are two ways of uh, sowing the seed sowing na veda vedakkiradhu solluvom la that is there are two ways of selecting the sowing the seed one is traditional tool as it is just scattering the uh, seeds on the soil one minute just scattering the seeds on the soil inge edukku paru just scattering the idu vandu manual podra idu vandu seed drill idu vandu traditional method of soil again idu vandu or mari katta mari irukku alagi there is a funnel right in the funnel when is uh, put the seeds that seeds will be through the funnel stem it is just sowing the seed when this uh, bullocks are uh, pulling the uh, tractor it is just sowing the seed and then you can just scatter the seed that is manual sowing this is called the seed drill in this way also you can sow the seed seed drill using a seed drill nowadays seed drill is used for sowing with the help of uh, tractors this tool sows the seed uniformly at proper distances manual it will just scatter no so in some places there will be more seeds in some places there are few seeds or no seeds at all is it not so using a seed drill if we do it will just uniformly scatter the seeds correct so now we say seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractor the tool sows the seed uniformly at proper distances and depth it ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing right and this prevents the damage caused by birds also sowing by using seed drill saves time and labor correct so this is for sowing the seed and then at the appropriate distance between the seed it is important and it is avoiding overcrowding of plants so when the seeds germinate even it is having a equal distance of growth and germination and growth it avoids overcrowding correct okay? and also it allows the plants to get sufficient sunlight nutrients and water from the soil i hope you understand this huh? so this is sowing the seed i already explained in the video session with that we will follow it up correct okay? the next one after sowing the seed we have to apply manure so the manure detail just i am showing the difference between fertilizer and manure the rest we go in detail in the well, uh, next video session correct okay? so manure and fertilizers manure it is natural and then it is of compost mainly compost whereas fertilizers they are man made they are made in the industry or factory chunola nama thoothukudi la kuda as i said in the earlier video session spick na nama paathom la it is a urea it is making urea it was making urea as a fertilizer correct okay? and then fertilizer is a inorganic salt whereas manure is natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung human waste and plant residues and fertilizer is prepared in the factories whereas manure can be prepared in the field every all these uh, humus the waste generated by the dried leaves dead and decayed plants and animal waste when they are dumped in a pit that will be converted into manure that is compost 
Chariya? Then fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil, whereas manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. And fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, whereas manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrient. And manure, sorry, actually manure when they put it, it is in slow action, whereas fertilizer when they, it is nutrient specific. What does it mean? Nitrogen, that nitrogen content uh, uh, fertilizer podala. Any other micro and macronutrient, whatever is to be supplied, that specific nutrients can be supplied to the plants using fertilizer. So fertilizer, it is nutrient specific, whereas manure, it is not so. And uh, in the fertilizer, it is quick in action but temporary, whereas manure is slow in action and permanent. I hope you understand this. Yeah? Further about the manure and the uh, fertilizer, we will continue in the next video session. Now next we will see the assignment, what we have done for the first video. Normally we have to discuss uh, assignment also, yeah? so that we will just see the answers for the assignment. Sorry, another, what is the first assignment? First, what is called a crop? Give example. Name the two broad cropping pattern and explain those terms. What are food crops? Give its types. List the agricultural practices. Observe the given plant. If this plant is sown in carib season, what would happen? This is the question. Yeah. So now answer for it. Crop. crop. When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called a crop. Now, textbook When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place in large scale, it is called a crop. Example, crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in the field are that of wheat. Right? Then broad cropping pattern, carib crop and rabbit crop. Carib crops which are sown in rainy season and the rainy season is in, in India is generally from June to September. Example, paddy, maize, soya bean, groundnut, cotton. Yesterday, the first video we have learned. Right? Then rabbit crop, crops grown in winter season are called rabbit crop. And their period, time period is generally October to March. And example, wheat, gram, pea, mustard and linseed. I hope you understand. You have written like this. Yeah? And then what are food crops? Give its types. Food crops are grown for food. Example, grains and vegetable. And then plantation crop. First one, the food crop. In the first one crop. Second one, the plantation crop. Crops that are grown as large estate of land. The totem chulwala plantation erande. Coffee, tea, and coconut. And cash crop, crops that are grown for profit, oil seed, nuts, and sugar cane. Then agricultural practices, preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizer, third step, fourth irrigation, protecting from weed, harvesting, storage. And then the figure given is a wheat plant. Right? So if wheat is grown, Wheat needs low temperature and less humidity to grow. So if they are sown in carib season, that is during rainy season, the seeds would get destroyed due to excess water and would not grow. I hope you understand this. Yeah? So this is for the video session number 2 where we have learnt agricultural practices. Le. First two steps. One is preparation of soil. And second one, sowing the seed. 
and third one the manure adding manure and fertilizer la we have just learned what are manure and fertilizers chariya so we will continue in the next video session have a good day we have made a good start so please keep it up and you have to learn the answers prepare the answers carefully and correctly i hope you understand this so have a good day have a nice day